to know how to use a screwdriver first, that would probably be very helpful. Hey everyone, so I know it has been a while since my last video and honestly I just went on a bit of a hiatus, did a bit of traveling, just got back from two fabulous trips, but that is not why we are here today. Today I am about to walk you through exactly what I did to essentially transform a spare den in my condo. Plot twist, I'm actually moving to a walk-in wardrobe. And the reason I need a walk-in wardrobe, because I know the question is going to come, is essentially I have a shopping problem and I refuse to acknowledge it. So I'm just going to put it out there. I wanted to make sure that it was not too, too expensive. I don't know exactly how long I'll be there for. I got the IKEA closet system, if you will. So I used both a Pax and an Ordal. And I am officially like an Ikea expert. And before this, I literally didn't even know how to use a screwdriver. I now could probably build a house. Probably not. Set up this video a bit vlog style so you will see exactly what happens from what it looked like at, right at the very start all the way through the entire process. There were definitely some hiccups all the way through to right now where I pretty much am just in the process of clothes and I'm so excited to see it fully finished. If you guys do want to see a video on that, please let me know. And if you do enjoy today's video, please give me a like and subscribe and I promise I will not go on another 11 month hiatus unless you guys want me to. So with that, let me show you the room. PSA after watching this back, I'm so sorry for my atrocious nails. I told you guys I just got back from vacation. I haven't done my nails since then, I'm so sorry. So when you walk into the room, this is exactly what you see. That's the back wall. This is the far right wall, so three sides in total. And then as you can see, this is the back wall where I was hoping to do the art doll. Um, so that's the full length. And then there's a door that actually closes. And then this is an overview of the pack side, so the longer side. If you were like me six months ago, you probably are like, what's a Pax and what's an Ardal? So super quick summary. Pax is essentially like the OG IKEA closet system. They have so many different configurations. You can do uh, shoe pullouts, drawers, like super custom. It also is a little bit more expensive. Other big thing to call it is there is a backing to a Pax. So you know how like when you build a bookcase, there's like a backing that you have on a Pax and you can also have the option to do like a door closing. I got mirrored doors. You can do sliding doors, so many options. On the flip side we have the Ardal. So Ardal is Ikea's I would say newer system. I don't think there's as many videos on YouTube out there so hopefully this will help somebody. I was doing a ton of googling. First of all a lot easier to set up but also a lot cheaper. Material kind of shows. I was able to put together things a lot quicker on the Ardal but I would say it does feel a bit more flimsy. Also there's no backing so thankfully my den was white so there was no big issue but I would say like if you're putting it in like a blue room not the blue to show on the other side that's just a consideration for the Ardal. I'll do my final thoughts at the end but that's just a quick summary on what the differences are between it. Sorry, one more note because I forgot this very important point. The Ardal whole system is built on suspension rail. And so what this is, is it's a big, honestly, metal rod. You have to drill into whichever wall you want um, it to stand on. And so typically it's not too bad because you just have like a regular wall, um, which has like wooden studs, and then you would just like drill them into it. But my condo, that, the wall that I wanted it on, of course, backed onto concrete and so we had a bit more of a kerfuffle than you would probably normally have but also the packs because it's so heavy and because I did the mirror door specifically um we also decided to attach it just to the back of the wall just to make sure it wouldn't go like flying down and like kill somebody. So before we go into the whole constructing bit, you will literally see that I was moving into this condo. So we didn't have anything there. So I had the luxury of space. If you do not have space, mend you be a little bit more organized than me because I literally have things in every other corner of the place. So what you just need is a dedicated area. I would just lay out whatever goes together in one spot. And that really helps me because if you're doing a full closet like I did, there are so many pieces, so many screws that look similar and it'll honestly save you a lot of headaches. So here is the PAX structure shell like laid out on the floor. You'll see things are kind of everywhere as I mentioned. Um, but essentially what we had to do was start off by just drilling some screws into the panels just to get them all set up, typical Ikea stuff. And then you'll see here, I'm a bit sad because we kind of messed up and had to redo it, but not a big deal. Make sure you have two people. These panels are heavy, which kind of is good because obviously the quality is there. Um, and then here you'll see the final frame actually went up and it fit perfectly in the room. Hey guys, so day one packs update. It's literally 11.05. We got back like an hour ago. Overall, I'd say a success. Had a couple of growing pains where we set up the initial packs like in the room. We were trying to build it so that it was in the den itself. That did not work out very well. So we ended up pulling it out and like assembling it to get the back on. So or to the wise, try to assemble in like the biggest area possible and then move it in if you have enough space to like 
height wise. Really all we to say is that up the frame of the mirrored pack. My current challenge is the fact that Ikea is literally out of stock of every single item possible, which is fine. Actually right before I drove over, I got a notification or with the glass was in stock. So we genuinely went to Ikea directly, ordered it and then had to go to the warehouse to pick it up. This is like, a fight like this is a war that we're in right now like finding packs it's, it's ridiculous so i'm still waiting to get the basket and the additional drawers for the pack i'm realizing that i kind of want to build it from the bottom up because if i build it from the top down i don't know like where to start the shelving out on a hiatus but also like i'm hoping i can put together the drawers in the interim um but yeah anyways i'm genuinely so exhausted so i'm gonna call it a night and i will catch you guys up on day two when we start putting the rest of all of this together so I fully forgot to film the construction of this very first drawer, but this is the one that has the glass in it and we still haven't put it into the packs because we don't know where it's going yet. And over there in the corner, you will see the gazillion other shelves that we need to wait on um, assembling as well because I'm still missing the drawers. So one done. 12 billion to go. So update from today's afternoon trip to Ikea. We picked up all the parts that were frankly in stock for this wall because genuinely supply chain doesn't exist right now. And so we thought we'd grab what we can when we could. So a little bit of drama on these suspension rails, which are the first step of this wonderful system that we have going on. The holes are in the wall but allegedly the screws are a bit loose so that's going to be a bit of a challenge we also realize that the wall is not hollow and so we have to deal with this cement situation which is very questionable but we're gonna go try and buy some longer screws and hopefully get this in the wall so that i don't have to return this entire mound of stuff so keep you updated Okay guys, we are back for day 752 of PAX installation. Um, hoping that today we can actually get the rail up. I will show you a really quick view of what the room looks like right now. And then hopefully by the end of today, we make some really good progress. Okay, so this is how we're starting off the day. Stuff everywhere. Four or five random holes on the wall. And one big PAX already in the corner show you guys a status update of the mess that my living room currently is in. We got one Ardal panel, yes, a single one, but we're just gonna casually wait for the other four. So fingers crossed they come in this week. In case you were wondering, the way we were able to get it into the wall was essentially to use a hammer drill, um, which drilled into the concrete. I learned so much this through this whole process, but essentially that's how we got it up. We had to use like concrete specific screws, but it's done and I'm happy. As soon as the rail was done, we went right back to the packs installing one of the drawers. So we officially have our very first layer of the packs in the drawer. This is also low key the only thing in stock right now, but. I'm just about to put together all of the Ardal drawers. I just did one, it was so easy. So literally this is gonna take me like 20 minutes. Update, I was definitely being a little bit too confident there. It took me a little over 20 minutes. So remember when I said there were a couple kerfuffles? I was not lying. We had a flood, like a straight up flood. I walked into the room thinking like, oh, like I just wanna see what beautiful work we have done. And then I looked up and there was like water. Long story short, the water got cleaned up. All was well, we went back to constructing. Okay guys, so today is the day we are actually putting together the Ardal. So we have already started to set up the panel. So you'll see we're doing these panels first. And then we are gonna attach like the little like nubs so that we can attach the board. So my plan is to have, um, obviously you need one at the top, one at the bottom, and then I'd also like a shelf on majority of them. So I will keep you posted. So I don't know if this is a completely irrelevant, silly question for most people, but like I don't understand how we're gonna be able to determine where each panel goes because I know that there's like four sections that I wanna do, but this is just like one big bar. I'm trying to do some calculations, but stay tuned. I've successfully installed the very first shell. Keep in mind these like little tabby things are 
you can get them flush. So when you initially install them, they'll feel like they're stuck, like when they're like that far down, but you can put them the whole way. You just literally need to use elbow grease. Very happy the first one's up. We're gonna try to get the rest of the shell done, but here we go. So we have successfully gotten in three out of the four panels. So I have one more section left to go. I think I'm gonna have a little more room left over than I anticipated, but honestly, overly upset about it. I think, you know, better to be safe than sorry. So we did move that one in quite a bit. Looks good. It looks like a true walk-in wardrobe and we are done the frame it looks so exciting the ladder fyi hence this ladder um that side is obviously clearly no shelf because we're gonna add a um clothing rack two of them one at the top and one in the middle and then for the rest of them when we come next time we're gonna do a clothing rail across the top and then build drawers. And then um, I realized that I have a bunch of extra panels that I was like confused about and they actually go above the drawers. So yeah, I have officially completed the construction of the back wall of my closet. So I am extremely thrilled. Actually what you'll see if I just take a quick step back is there are four sections as you saw. So the first three here are um, with drawers as well as a hanging bar and a shelf. So that those three are almost all the same. I added an extra drawer on the middle one just because I ended up buying an extra drawer, long story. Um, and then on the far wall, I have two hanging rods. So I'll be able to do a bit more clothes hanging and it's actually hidden behind this pax, which I think works super well. And for this pax, which is like on the long side, you will see that um, there's actually a bit of a gap if I really quickly show you because of the baseboard. So I'm going to have um, the baseboard removed a little later um, this weekend, just so that we can make sure this is flush against the wall. And then I have all the compartments to build this up. Yeah, if I just give you another quick overview, I think it turned out so, so well. So this is again, the Ordal system. It was fairly okay to install. I know people always say it's easy. I wouldn't say easy, but overall, I think it turned out and looks so good. And I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna have lots of room here when I fill it with like clothes. It'll probably be like clothes and then like room for bags. But if you guys would like a whole video on like seeing this all filled in, like definitely let me know. But today we actually attached the packs to the wall. So you will see it as secure. I've added the covers already, but they're pretty much screwed into the wall. Um, and we got the baseboard removed the quarter inch on this side. And then actually because I'm flush against a corner, we removed the baseboard on this side as well, just to get it as far into the closet as possible. You'll see it still kind of juts out, but like not the end of the world. Now we are going to figure out how to attach the doors and then we will be able to build the inside um, compartment. Here is the mirror door setup. The mirrors are very, very, very heavy. So just keep that in mind. You might need a partner, but these are the hinges. My understanding is these ones, the basic ones just go on the middle and then the soft close ones go on the outside. So because we want to install all the drawers first, we are going to try to measure this out, figure out where the holes go and then go from there. So believe it or not, our vision has come to life. Oh my goodness. Highly recommend having some latex gloves. My hands are extremely sweaty. And after doing all those screws, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even believe it. Anyway, so I put the drawers in just to like measure the heights of everything, but nothing has been secured yet. So there's like a little security thing at the bottom. Have not done that. So we're gonna do that after we attach our next big project, which is drum roll, please. The mirror doors. Watching this clip back gives me so many memories. So the mirror doors are honestly really heavy and you have to align them perfectly. And with two people who don't have that great of strength, it was a bit of a challenge. So ideally, if you can have a third person, um, that would be super helpful. But realistically, you can get it done. Use your foot as a lever on the bottom and then you can just secure it. genuinely so happy in this clip and looking like actual craziness but woo all right so after oh gosh way too long we are almost there i just am missing a mirror right here above my little dressing table thing and then the r doll is in the back wall and then you will see here we have the full packs full length with double mirrors and then if we open it up that is the total one. Shelf at the top, bar rail, glass drawer, and basket. And then this also does pull out. It's a little thingy. I don't know what it's called anymore. I can't even talk. Tray. And yeah. So you're wondering, what are my final thoughts? I filmed this 
um, a couple of weeks ago at least. I don't remember all the pain of it, but I remember thinking to myself, you need to tell the video. It's not as easy as it seems. And it took us, honestly, a couple of months. Not going at it every single day. It was like a weekend thing. We'd go for a couple of hours. So you can probably do it a lot quicker. And also if you know how to use a screwdriver first, that would probably be very helpful. But also I did have a bunch of helpers that I'm extremely grateful for. Overall though, so worth the effect. It's exactly what I needed. I think altogether it probably cost me under $3,000, which if you're building a walk-in closet any other way, I don't see it costing you any less than like 10,000. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I would say personally, I found the Ardell a lot easier. I actually really like the setup of it. It is a lot smaller than the packs and like the configurations might not be exactly what you want, but I'd say like if you have the option to do one wall with, as an Ardell, like I did on my back wall, I really liked how it turned out. The packs also was amazing. I haven't started using it yet, so I can't really tell you which one's more practical or anything like that, but I would say just from the looks itself, Pax is definitely a bit more grand, a bit more bougie, if you will. I'm fully satisfied with both of them. Just keep in mind, take your time, ask for some help paying pizza, and you'll totally be able to make your dream closet. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I literally can probably answer anything about Ikea. Ikea, if you would like to sponsor me for complaining about your product, please do. I'm just kidding. I really did like the product. If you would like a full closet tour, please let me know. And if not, I will definitely see you guys very soon. Have a fabulous day. Bye.